What is up traders? Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to take your trading to the next level using ChatGPT, a mind-blowing tool that can code in any programming language on the planet. I'm going to use it to write my TradingView strategy script in TradingView's native coding language PineScript that you can copy and paste directly into TradingView that will potentially make you an immediate profit. That's right folks, with ChatGPT, you can create a custom coded winning trading strategy in no time based on historical data, market trends, and more. So buckle up and get ready to witness the power of ChatGPT3. All right, so obviously the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to open ChatGPT and we need to figure out what type of strategy we want it to make us. So obviously i'm a scalper a lot of my videos are about scalping so we're gonna have it come up with a pretty simple scalping strategy for us using the uh moving averages all right so what i want to say is i'm going to say hi chat gpt can you please make me a simple forex or futures trading strategy that has to do with price breaching the the emas during up or down trends so it's going to go ahead and give us a strategy here and let's check it out so it says sure i can help you with that here is a simple trading strategy that uses exponential moving averages to identify potential buying or selling opportunities during the up or down trends one determine the trend direction to determine the trend direction, you can use a long-term EMA such as the 200 period. If price is above that EMA, the trend is considered up, and it is if and if the price is below that EMA, then the trend is considered down. Identify a short-term EMA. Once you have determined the trend direction, you can identify a short-term EMA that will help you spot potential buying or selling opportunities. For example, you can use the 20 EMA, 20 period EMA as your short-term EMA. Three, wait for a pullback. In an uptrend, you can wait for the price to pull back to the short-term EMA before considering the buy. In a downtrend, you can wait for price to pull up back to the short-term EMA before considering a sell. Step number four, look for a breach. Once, once the price pulls back to the short-term EMA, look for a breach in the EMA. And if the price breaches the short-term EMA during an uptrend, it can be a signal to buy. And if the price breaches the short-term EMA during a downtrend, it can be a signal to sell. Set a stop loss and take profit levels. Once you have entered a trade, it is important to set a stop loss and take prof profit levels to manage your risk. You can set your stop loss just below the short, ter short term EMA in an uptrend or just above the short term EMA in a downtrend. For take profit levels, you can use a one to two or one to three risk to reward ratio. Manage your trades. As price moves up in your favor, you can adjust your stop loss to lock in profits or even to move it to break even to protect your capital. You can also take partial profits as the price reaches certain key levels. Remember that this is a simple trading strategy and should be used in conjunction with other technical and fundamental analysis tools to make informed trading decisions. Additionally, it is important to manage risk properly by using appropriate position sizing, stop loss orders, and avoiding over trading. So that is a simple strategy that we can use to scalp the trend. It's very similar to the strategy that I actually trade every single day. Uh, to break down everything I said, we're going to look for an uptrend or a downtrend, and then we're going to look for pullbacks during that trend to signal our buying or selling opportunities. So the best way to get ChatGPT to write your code for TradingView is to start with one thing and then build onto it. So we can start off by asking it, can you write me a pine script code for trading view five a pine script five code for trading view i want to have the 200 ema and the 20 ema charted i want to be able to change the color and length of these emas as well as the line thickness so let's see what we get with this all right let's try it out so we're going to open trading view and we just copy and paste it into here click save and we got an error right off rip at 9.8 right here it could not find ema so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take that error 
paste it into chat GBT and see what it says. Let's try this new code out. Save. Okay, no errors. Add to chart. Okay, so and now we added it to the chart and we'll see here that we have our EMA one length. We can change it in two different places here and that's one of the errors that we'll have to go back and fix, but we can control the length of the first EMA and the second EMA as well as the thickness and the color. And we can obviously adjust it from here too. So we have a 20 and the 200 and we can easily change that. So now what we want to do is we want to be able to, for, we want the indicator to tell us if we're in an uptrend or a downtrend. So what we can do is we can have it highlight the background if price is above or below the EMA 200. So we're going to ask it, can you add to the script above to highlight the background red if price is below EMA 2 and green if price is above EMA 2. So now it is highlighting the background of the chart dependent on whether we are an uptrend or downtrend and obviously it is a little too much so let's ask can you make that red or green background a transparency of 50. okay so we got this new code here that's supposed to change the transparency of this red and green to 50 so it, everything looks a little bit cleaner let's check it out all right there we go that's much better so if the background is red then we are in a downtrend and if the background is green we are in an uptrend meaning prices above or below this 200 ema so you'll see here in the settings that we can change it um, right here we can change the opacity the colors and turn them on or off just right here in the settings which is really awesome issues I just resolved them. I had to have chat GPT rewrite it because for some reason when I was adjusting the price like this, the lines were not adjusting properly with it, but everything is fixed now. And let's check out the settings. So we have our uh, EMA, EMA inputs here. We can change the colors, toggle the background on and off. When the price is above the, when the price closes above the 200 EMA, it indicates with a green background. And when price closes above and when price closes below the 200 EMA, it highlights the background red. So now what we can do that we have the background everything set up is we can set up an alert that alerts us a buy or a sell signal whenever price breaks above or below the first EMA with the trend. Okay, so what we're gonna do there is we're gonna ask ChatGPT to add into the script a buy signal every time price breaks above EMA one for the first time in the last three candles with a green background. So what we're asking here is to show a buy signal in the form of a green triangle underneath the candle when price breaks above EMA one for the first time within the last three candles and the price is above EMA two and save. Awesome. No errors. So let's see not oh here we go here's some signals so yeah look at that so it broke above the short-term ema here which indicates a buy signal this would go right here and yeah this would actually work out it would give you two r almost three rr okay so now we need to indicate the same thing but reverse so now we need to ask can you add into the script to show a sell signal in the form of a red triangle above the price when the price breaks below the EMA one for the first time within the last three candles and the price is below the EMA two. All right. Awesome. No errors. And look, now we're getting sell signals. Wow. This signal right here would have made you holy shit. This signal right here would have made you 30 RR return. Oh, look at this. This one would have given you 1.6. Probably would have got you a quick little loss. This one right here would have gotten you 1.5 loss. These ones right here would have hit. Okay, awesome. So now we have the basics of this strategy working. Whenever the price breaks below or above 
the short-term EMA during a trend, it gives you a signal. All right. So now what else can we add to the script? It's pretty darn good. We have a good system so far, but at the same time, there's still some errors. We still want to weed some things out maybe. So let's, let's, let's think for a second. You know, maybe I've seen a good idea is if we add another short term EMA that shows us where to set our stop loss, maybe we can add a 50 EMA. Can you add an EMA 50 as EMA three to the above script? And I think I want to make all of the uh, EMAs set to HLC three as well. While still accomplishing our goal. Awesome, no errors. Let's double check because I don't think that worked. Oh wait, yeah, here's the new code, okay. Copy that, paste it, save. All right, no errors. Whoa, now we have an issue. All right, so something went wrong. Let's see if I can fix it here. So I think what we need to do is we need to go back to the original code that we had that work and just add the EMA3 in ourselves. So if we see, we can see exactly, here we go. You know, we can just do this. All right. And so hopefully that works. Let's see. Okay, awesome. No errors. Looks like the signals are fixed again. And we have all of our EMAs. Now, the only thing is, I feel like I don't see the EMA too. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. So what I need to do is I need to go in here and right here under EMA length, I have to put the input of, let's do 50, save that script, and then now there we go. So what we can do is we can use this EMA 50 as our stop loss to get the rest of the confluences that you need to place your trade. If you guys want to add anything to this code, I'm going to put the code in the description below. You can take that code, put paste it into chat GBT and modify it however you need. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. Um, I had a lot of fun making it actually. I hope that you can use chat GPT to create a profitable trading strategy for yourself or flesh out any ideas that you might have. Again, I'm going to put the code in the description below. And again, if you enjoyed, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful, profitable day.